I don't think you should get hired based on your race or based on your sex. I think you should get hired because you're the most talented for the job. That's how I would feel as a business owner, and that's how I would feel as a customer. I want to buy stuff made from the most talented people. However, some people think diversity is more important. And so doesn't a company like Sweet Baby Inc. actually hurt that idea? I mean, instead of actually hiring people of color to do the job right, they're outsourcing to companies like Sweet Baby Inc. instead, because of course it's cheaper. And it seems like every single game that that company touches is always involved in some sort of controversy. I've seen someone say there aren't a lot of people of color in Finland. That's why Remedy looks like the Breakfast Club on steroids. Have you ever heard of an airplane? It just seems like these companies are doing everything in their power not to have to hire people of color. Sweet Baby Inc. wouldn't exist otherwise. And again, as far as I'm concerned, Remedy should be able to do whatever the fuck they want, hire whoever the fuck they want. I just find it funny that you care more about inclusion in a video game than in actual real life. But over at Sweet Baby Inc., instead of having a white person telling you what to do, you'll have a person of color bossing you around. It's not Saga, the character that Remedy created, saying another white asshole. I mean, obviously, she was created as a white woman after all. And it wasn't until they hired Sweet Baby Inc. until race came into play. Because that white asshole sentiment is one of somebody that's working there. And they're using Saga and video games as a vessel to give that message to the world. Just like with every other thing, these extreme groups of people will learn an industry inside and out. And then they'll create a business in order to infiltrate it with the purpose of pushing certain ideologies. It always starts off subtle. You barely notice it. And then you start to realize over time it's having an industry-wide effect, which a lot of people feel, including myself, has already happened. And anytime you like something or you're passionate about something, you hate to see that something get torn apart or used for nefarious reasons. Now, of course, if I don't like it enough, I can choose to walk away. And I've been taking baby steps. I've been trying to just focus on indie games where you have a lot less of this garbage going on. And these videos of me complaining is the result of me not wanting that bullshit to spill over into indie games. And even though I might not like what you're saying, I'm not going to try to have you actually removed from the fucking platform, okay? Especially when you have options to mute or whatever else. You guys go straight to the fucking I'm going to report you. I give you a small taste of your own medicine and you guys start flipping out, attacking me personally. You woke motherfuckers are the biggest hypocrites. You're so full of shit. You act like you actually care about people and that you're anti-anything bad, anti-bullying, anti-this, anti-that. But you're the worst form of all of the above. Somebody has an opinion that you don't agree with, you try to bully that opinion out of them. You try to mob them and snuff that opinion right out. And if that doesn't work, you start abusing the platform. You start reporting them. And it's all of this stuff and plenty more that I'm hoping will stay the fuck out of video games. But you have companies like Sweet Baby Inc. that foster this shit, nurture this shit, breeds this shit. And so pardon me that I feel sad that Sam Lake bent the knee to these motherfuckers. And once you let them get their foot in the door, it's all over. There's no turning back. Inclusion and diversity in video games, Sweet Baby Inc. is counterproductive. It's against their best interest as a company for you guys to get hired at studios such as Remedy because they'd be out of fucking work. They're banking on the industry staying exactly the same. They're banking on these companies not hiring people of color. The best way to handle inclusion, handle diversity, have people of color tell their stories is to do it organically. Actually hire talented people of color. And all that shit will just work itself out. It will feel more natural. It won't feel forced like it does most of the time. But instead, you have this weird, woke, fucking temp agency thing. And by the way, because I need to spell it out, I'm not being literal, okay? They're not a temp agency. You have this one entity that's handling a lot of this diversity stuff, okay? The problem is, this entity is woke as fuck. Turns everything they touch into shit. Doing a race swap is textbook tokenism. 